Hey guys, Matt from the Weekend Handyman here today. We're going to be placing the wheel bearings on this Jeep Grand Cherokee here. Some of the symptoms we were having uh, was excessive noise um, coming from the vehicle and driving. And when we turn, the noise changes, so we know that's uh, coming from the wheel bearing. Also, we're getting uh, the brakes rubbing, so we're getting a burnt brake smell. So, this is the part that we're going to be putting in today. It's uh, runs about 60 bucks from your auto parts store so it's not very expensive and it's not really that difficult of a job to do so uh first thing obviously jack the vehicle up put it on jack stands get the wheel out of the way and then the very next thing we're going to be doing it is um pulling the axle nut off so we have to remove the cotter pin which is new because i just did um ball joints Yours is rusty, sometimes you could just break most of it off. And there, and that cup pops off, and then there's the axle nut, and that needs to come off. So, uh, to pull the axle nut off, you're gonna wanna have somebody depress the brake or jam a block of wood in there to depress the brake. And you need a fairly large socket um, using a 1 and 7 16 on this. So, if you've never taken it off before, it's going to be very difficult not to get off. This shouldn't be too difficult because it's just been off. Let me say that now. Once you break it free, it'll come off nice and easy. Sure. There's a nut, and then there's a washer here. Come on. Once you get the axle nut off, you can go ahead and release the pressure on the brakes and you want to pull the whole caliper assembly off. Now there's a nut on the top and one on the bottom Just using an 18 mil socket on that. You might want to hit these with PV blaster before you go ahead and remove them. Um, and that'll release your caliper here. Top one. Then once you do the bottom one, you're gonna have to put your front top off. Not pretty Strap here. Let's see, her brakes are stuck on there now. Shoot. I'm going to run that behind the shock. I'm just going to hold up the uh, brake caliper with this bungee cord once I get it off. It's stuck on there pretty good. So it's generally not a problem. <laughs> generally. <laughs> of course that came from one over there. Alright, 
there's that out of the way. Take the brake caliper off. I mean, excuse me, the rotor. Now is a good time to check it for wear. This is fine, and then uh, we can access the wheel hub. So you can see uh, the nuts sticking out there. There's one on top, one over here, and then one on the other side. Um, you can reach up from back. We're going to get these two with the wheel turned to the left, and then to get the other one, probably going to turn the wheel to the right. So getting this third one out is a little bit of a pain. Um, you don't have much movement, so if you're having trouble with it and need more movement, it just might be best to drop one of these control arms, um, excuse me, tie rods. I right, just remove the cotter and remove the nut and pound it out. Um, I was able to get my nut loose, so I'll just pull it loose. And once it's loose, you can pull the nuts all the way back, and you're ready to move the wheel bearing and home assembly here. Um, now, sometimes this is going to be stuck on pretty good, um, so it's going to take a lot of whacking with a hammer. Nice uh, steel chisel like that will help you a lot. And just whacking around the top and sides here just to crack it loose should do the trick. Mine's, once again, pretty loose already because it's separated. Just the way around here. You're not really going to hurt the knuckle. You don't worry about hurting the knuckle. And then you see the axles in there, so you're just going to give that a whack or two, and you'll have your whole assembly there. And there's your whole assembly. Um, Alright, so I just slip this back on, like so, turn the wheel back to the left. I'm going to do the uh, on the back side of this first. Tap it in there, seated. Get those started. And we'll tighten them down. If you're looking for torque specs, you need a hand manual or something. Tight. Sounds like a good torque to me. Alright, once you get the hub all tightened down, then you can go ahead and reinstall your brake caliper. And then throw the axle nut back on. And Finger tighten it. And we can go ahead and uh, apply the brakes. Tighten that one up.
that's on, you can reinstall the spring for the castle nut. Mini, uh, I don't even know what this is called. It's weird. Throw your carbon back through. Uh, you may need to get a new cotter pin for this. If you have a badly rusted one, it's probably not going to work anymore. I'm going to reuse this one because I just put it in like three weeks ago. So. Once that's all said and done, throw it, go ahead and put your wheel back on and you're all set. Thanks for watching.